Good morning, people, and welcome to a new update of Hurricanes Irma, Jose, and Katia here on Force 13. Right now, we are going to start with Hurricane Irma, that uh, it has weakened slightly, but practically it means nothing because it keeps a pretty strong Category 5 hurricane with winds of 180 miles per hour and gusting with 220 miles per hour. It's, uh, it's possible that today in the afternoon or in the night uh, Irma will make landfall directly over the Turks and Caicos Islands so we should keep a pretty close eye to the system in the next hours. There, There is a hurricane warning uh, for the whole Practically the whole Bahamas, the southeastern Bahamas that includes Aiklands, Crooked Island, Long Cay, Inagua, Mayaguana and Ragged Island, the central Bahamas and northwestern Bahamas are covered in those warnings as well. The Dominican Republic uh, is under hurricane warning from Cabo Engaño to the northern border with Haiti and Haiti to uh, from the northern border to no, sorry, northern border of the Dominican Republic, west to Mount Saint Nicolas, and of course the Turks and Caicos Islands. That it, it will be the first victim, well, sorry, the next victim of this monstrous hurricane. Hurricane Watch is in effect for Cuba from Matanzas Province, eastward to Guantanamo Province, and Tropical Storm Warning is in effect for Dominican Republic. South of Cabo Engaño, westward to the southern border with Haiti and Ragged Island. In Haiti, south of Mont Saint Nicolas to Port Prince and Cuba, covering the provinces of Guantanamo, Holguin, and Las Tunas. So, for now, these are the, cur the current watches and warnings in effect for this ferocious hurricane. Now, moving to Hurricane Jose. This system is intensifying quickly and it's approaching to the Leeward Islands. Possibly it will affect them uh, in the next days, but right now Jose remains a strong Category 1 hurricane. May, we may possibly see a major hurricane uh, today in the night or tomorrow in the morning. Right now it has 90 miles per hour and uh, 1 minute sustained winds. There's no warnings or or watches in effect yet for that for that hurricane. Uh, well, it's located about 815 miles from the from Lesser Antilles, so it has to travel uh, a little bit more closer to start those advisories. Anyways, Jose will be possibly a significant hurricane as well. Now moving to Katia. That is currently located in the bay, in the Bay of Campeche and is currently stationary but intensifying quickly. Right now, it's a hurricane, a Category One hurricane with winds of 80 miles per hour, and in, and we may possibly in, the, in we may see in the next hours a uh, slow movement to the south or to the southwest, and it's expected that Katia will make landfall in the state of Veracruz. Uh, around Friday night, possibly. Uh, of course, there are some advisories in effect for this pr practically pretty small hurricane. And uh, there, there is a hurricane warning uh, for the state of Veracruz that uh, covers Cabo Rojo to Laguna Verde, and of course there is a tropical storm warning as well to. Uh, sorry, for Veracruz that covers the north of Cabo Rojo to Rio Panuco and south of Laguna Verde to Puerto Veracruz. These are the warnings and watches in effect for this minimal hurricane, but possibly it could be pretty significant and it just uh, it's like a reminder of Hurricane Carl back on 2010. So people in Veracruz should, should watch pretty close this hurricane. This has been everything for me in this morning update, but I'm going to keep you updated with more videos in the afternoon and night, of course. Please stay tuned with those hurricanes, but of course, 
with Irma that is a completely uh, an enormous system I mean it's it is a monster it's com it's incredibly intense and of course the w uh, the worst part of this hurricane is about to begin so please take care and stay tuned as well and even more stay safe uh, it has been all from me I'm Cesar Gammes and see you in the next update.